My name is Caroline Ola, and I am launching a furniture website, online customization furniture website, which I actually just finished yesterday, so it's perfect timing that I got this presentation. So uh, before I get into the nitty gritties of the entire 1.5 year story of building the site, I want to tell you a bit about myself. I'm an interior architect, and I have been working at commercial interior architecture firms for over 10 years now. And most recently, I was living and working in New York, where I was working at a company called Skidmore Owens & Barrel, uh, which notably builds the World Trade Center towers. And so my role there was to develop all the interior architecture for their building. So I was working on a building in Geneva. And um, one of my many roles there, along with running the team and doing everything, was to specify furniture. So when you specify in furniture for a building, whether it be a hotel or a commercial tower, you know, you're selecting hundreds of chairs, tables, side tables, everything, and I hated this job. It took hours, furniture websites were extremely confusing, time consuming, everyone's, I don't know if you've seen a furniture catalog, it's really difficult to actually find a table size you like once you find the right table. It often doesn't come with the colors you want. And you know, when I spent all this time designing with my team a really beautiful space, you want a piece of furniture that's actually going to fit your style. And so I thought to myself, is if I, as a commercial interior architect, was having this issue, then the general public would definitely be having this issue. So I went, I had that light bulb moment, and so I started researching furniture retail. And even in New York at the time, I noticed that a lot of furniture stores didn't really have that much of a retail presence. And if they did, it was really confusing, and often they didn't have prices, or you couldn't actually buy online. And also, even once you went into the stores, everyone was a bit ambiguous about how much you would customize something, and customizing was something that the general public doesn't really know about. And also, I found that there's, in terms of furniture pricing, there's IKEA, and then there's astronomical, <laughs> like really, really expensive things. So there was no, nothing where you could get your kind of furniture essentials that were right in that really good sweet spot. Um, what I noticed was that fashion retail was much more progressed. Um, when you want to go and get a t-shirt that's red, that's good quality, you know you can go to Uniqlo because they'll have every single style, every single size. When you go into the store, it's really clean, it's really beautiful. And um, I really realized there were no furniture stores that actually offered this. Uh, so my goal from that moment on was to create a furniture website that had really beautiful, clean designs that were good quality, solid wood, handmade, and that you could customize online as well, much like the Nike ID. And the image on the left is actually Victoria Beckham's showroom. And I really find her an inspiration because her styles are very classic. Um, they're good quality, you pay a little bit more for them, but they're actually, um, you know, she'll have one dress but then also in every colour. So that was my concept, my very lofty concept. So where to start when you know nothing? Um, at the time, I was working in New York, and then my husband was offered, he's right over there actually, um, was offered the role of moving to Malaysia, and I thought, great, this is the perfect moment for me to quit my job and do this business, which I thought that I would actually finish and start within like three months. So, um, but then my first day of not having a job, I sat there and said, well, actually, I know nothing about putting together a website, apart from these two images that I picked out of the internet. And then I realized I didn't know anything, so I called my friend. She lives in LA, and she's got a business called um, Never Liked It Anyway, where you get to sell your ex-boyfriend's uh, products online. <laughs> An amazing site, she's had a lot of traction, but I should get her to speak another time. Um, so she told me the best thing she did was put wireframes together, and I was like, wireframes, what are wireframes? And then also write a brief. The brief part was easy. Wireframes, I wasn't quite sure what that was, but all I knew was that I had a, I wanted an e-commerce platform, and then I wanted this Nike 3D customization section. So I thought I would create wireframes for the kind of customization section. So I'm going to show them to you now, they're very crude, they were done a long time ago and I promise they've gotten a lot better. Um, so the whole idea with Ready was that you can come onto this site, you can pick your, say for example, table size, um, then you can pick your leg type, um, and then you can pick your color and your top, and then you can check out. And then it will be shipped to you between eight to ten weeks. So. 
after having my wireframes and and debrief, I then had to find a consultant and I was living in a country where I knew no one. So the first thing I did, I went to a co-working space, uh, much like this, and I went there to expand my network. And so I introduced myself to every single person in the room, whether they liked it or not, and um, I basically hustled them all until they gave me information about who were the best people to use for e-commerce platforms and who were the best people to um, work with in terms of web developers. And at the time, Shopify was just launching. I'm not sure if any of you heard of Shopify, but they're, I hadn't heard of them. And they're, they were there speaking that day, and they told me that they were an e-commerce platform. And as a startup, when you have no money, and you have very limited funds, they're a wonderful company to work with because you pay, I think, the starting price is $30 a month. And you can actually sign up and actually start and upload all your images yourself, and you actually don't need a web developer. Uh, so I knew I wanted to use Shopify, and but then I still had that 3D customization section that I needed someone to build. And so I asked Shopify who they would recommend and they gave me four people. I interviewed three of them and they had no idea how to do what I wanted to do. And one of, the fourth one didn't show up to the meeting. So <laughs> I was back to square one, but deflated but not defeated. I um, then networked again and found someone named Hayslick who was quite prominent in the entrepreneurial community in Malaysia, and he knew every coder in Malaysia, and he said, for a minimal fee, he would act as my project manager. I said, that's great, because it's been a month and I haven't found anyone, so he really believed in my idea and wanted to make it work, and that was his role, and there are people out there like that who are there, that's their role to really help you launch your business. So he found a team um, called Cloud Coder. They were, you know, I hadn't heard of them before, so I, met with them and one of the benefits of having a business that or a concept that's so lofty and high in the sky is that the first person that comes along that actually wants to work with you um, is the only person, the right person for the job. So um, what I noticed and the takeaways I had from that meeting I had with them was that they, I, I, get, I told them my really complicated concept and they came back and gave me three ways that they could actually improve on it and make it better and then I knew I wanted to work with these guys. And so um, I still wasn't 100% convinced, so what I did was ask them to do a test. So I set a small amount of money, I said, we've got three weeks to see if you can do one table. And they did that, they nailed the project, and they actually came up with something even better. And so from then on, we've been working together for the last six months to um, work on this project. Um, I'm not going to lie, it hasn't been roses. I wish I could tell you it had. There were many points where we wanted to kill each other. Um, but what I would stress is have a really clear written co uh, contract and we just had, oh, finish in six months, which is what you mentioned not to do. Um, and that's what I did. And so six months turned into 12 months and um, there were, ma the main issues were just scope in terms of what was included, what wasn't included. I'm coming from a non-technical background, so I was saying, oh, you just moved that thing up there. How can that cost that much? And then they would be completely frustrated. So it was a lot of back and forth, but luckily we did have an internal project manager who would kind of cool a lot of the arguments. Um, but we have gotten there in the end. And um, so what, the first thing I had to do was select a Shopify template, and they have a bunch of templates you can choose from. I wanted something extremely clean and minimal to go with that whole kind of slick concept. Uh, and then I just went through and marked up what I wanted to change. And then, you know, again, we worked together to progress the 3D customization section. Um, and then also at the time, mobile uh, wasn't that big. And I'm so glad that halfway through this process, we decided to go with a mobile-friendly template because now we, we probably would be existing without it. So I was going to say as well, the content is just as important as the code. So having, and that's something my web developer also told me, he said, you know, you can have this really clean website, but if your image at the front is terrible, then um, no one's going to really go on your site. So um, I had to have good photography, accurate 3D renderings, and really clear written content. And one thing with the photography is never judge a book by its cover. I picked my favorite photographer in the world who charges upwards of $50,000, and I basically just called him and said, I have no money and I want to fly to Malaysia and take photos of my really awesome furniture. And so he said yes and he did it. So I flew him over to Malaysia, bought him dinner and for three days we worked together and 
I gave him a lot of creative freedom, which is why he wanted to take the job. So that's sometimes a way for you to get things for not much money. Um, and again, with the 3D renderings on my site, I have over 2,000 combinations in terms of your furniture that you can create. And I put on freelancer.com as a great resource for tasks like that. So on freelancer.com, I said, who wants to make 2,000 renderings for $400 US? And someone actually answered that and did it. Um, which is incredible, we still work together today. So he's based in the UAE, I've never met him, but I guess it goes a long way there. Um, so now it's the finished product. So the whole idea is that, so I just click dining tables, is that we have a whole bunch of dining tables and the idea is that every style, we have four styles, and every piece of furniture comes in each of those four styles. Um, so at the top here, you can actually search a little bit more um, and actually find, I actually loaded those filters at the top because it was getting a little confusing with the search. And then you can click on this page here, the whole concept is that you can Because I thought I would be launching now and then that would be it, but then 
you have your users. And then to everyone I said this to has a criticism as much as I didn't want to hear it and say, oh, it's amazing. Um, I, I really took it all on board and it's actually made the site a lot better. So I'll just constantly continue to take on everyone's feedback. Um, and what sort of feedback did you get? Uh, a lot of it was, you know, I can't say the ready to design button and um, whether it's the, uh, just simple things. I had uh, materials and styles and everyone's like, what do those two buttons say? Change materials, change styles. Um, so I added in words to describe it a little bit better, um, even though I was like, really? I have to add that. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so it just, it, I mean, I constantly get feedback every day and it's all really good feedback to help people. And you're able to update. Yes, so I'm able to, what's wonderful about this site is that with Shopify, I'm able to update everything, all the images, everything. Um, the only thing I need to engage my web developer for is if I want to add a finish or add um, a completely new style, which I probably won't be for another year or so. Um, and yes, so you see your competitors like retail level. Retail level? Front, yeah. Well, actually, I don't actually think we have any competitors yet. So, um, well, in terms of price range, probably like Tree uh, would be a competitor, but they don't really have the kind of sleek designs with color and all of that as well. And I mean, my biggest competitors were probably in the States that I see are more like Blue Dot and middle price range um, people like that. But in Hong Kong, which is another reason why I started this, is that I felt like in Asia, there's not a lot in that middle range, um, which is why I'm watching predominantly just in Asia for now. And um, yeah, so I just want to leave you with a couple of lessons that I learned. So have a clear brief. Never be afraid to ask stupid questions. Expand your network, um, over communicate, ensure your content is as good as the code, be patient, it will take a lot, lot longer than you think, um, and be open to changing direction, which we did a lot. And I just want to say the benefits of having an online business. This is my office in New York where I was working seven days a week, 365 days a year. And now this is my office now, but I, I get to go to my factory once a month and work with my factory workers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, that was fabulous, and between three of you it's been great, having really a great cross-section of some of the things, and you know, even from my own personal experience, having, um, you know, you mentioned using Freelancer, I mean, we used Elance for a number of things, from website design, things like that, and we had somebody in Guatemala, somebody in Macedonia, and uh, somebody in the Philippines. Um, and that's great, but make sure I thought you were very smart to take a sort of, you know, the small piece and get it tried out. I thought that was a great, great idea. Um, however, it's very important when you're doing something about web development where it's your future. And as Nikki said, you know, planning your future is, is crucial. Um, not knowing your team is going to be there for a while is very, very painful. So working with a freelancer on something bigger is, is quite a dangerous tactic because they go, they don't, you know, if you've used a different technology, you're a bit stuck. So, anyway, so what we wanted to do is bring the three um, to come up and then you guys can, there's half an hour for